Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Thistle Hill Farmstead. My name's Todd, and today we're going to be working on my John Deere 3038 compact utility tractor. Uh, the issue I'm having with it today is with the three point hitch uh, raising and lowering properly. I've got two issues. One is I need to adjust the upper limit of the hitch so that when it goes all the way up, uh, the relief valve kicks in and it doesn't keep trying to pump uh, the hydraulic fluid as it's at its uppermost point. I, I noticed uh, when I had a bush hog on it one time, I would raise it up and then I was trying to work the uh, grapple on the front and I had no power uh, with the grapple or it just moved really slow. And then I realized what was happening was when I raised the, uh, the brush hog up, it was uh, maxing out at the top and just dumping the, the fluid pass and then not really having enough uh, fluid pressure for the grapple. So I need to adjust that. The other thing is I want to adjust the, um, the stopping points of the three point hitch. Right now, it's either all up or all down. I'm not sure when this started, but to get it to raise up, you have to pull it all the way back to the uppermost position. Then it will raise all the way up to the max. And then to get it to go down, if I push forward, it does nothing until I get to the very bottom and then it'll just drop all the way down. So it has no adjustment in between. There's, there's no, and I can't get it to stop in between unless when it starts going down, I pull the lever back and get it to stop. So there's something going on with the linkage there. I'm gonna work on that too. So come along and we'll see what we can get fixed. Now, the first thing I wanna do is to clean up back here a little bit. In my last video where I worked on the uh, fixing this rock shaft that I broke off, uh, broke the bolt on, everyone gave me grief about how dirty the back of this thing was and said, you need to clean that up before you work on it. So uh, I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna blow all this crap off here because what I wanna get to down here is I think this linkage arm that uh, controls the max height in, uh, the of the the three-point hitch so i'm going to get back in here and yeah there is a lot of grass and stuff on where i've been uh you know with the rotary mower going and just general usage so let's let's knock that out Okay, everything's nice and blown off and cleaned off. What I'm going to uh, work on is right down here, this uh, control linkage for the three-point hitch. And uh, it says to adjust it while it's in the uh, off position. And, you know, uh, what I'll do is loosen these nuts up and uh, raise it all the way up and uh, see if I can adjust it. Let me see if I can give you a better view of this linkage. It starts right here. Hey, the nut's already loose, and maybe that, uh, that might be what's wrong with it. Maybe it's moved. But it starts here. It connects to this rock shaft um, lever, and as this thing raises and lowers, it pulls this linkage forward and backwards, which controls uh, part of the valve. This, this is the valve that controls the raising and lowering. And... Uh, it's kind of a two-part valve. It has um, one piece of the shuttle uh, linkage that's in there. It's controlled by the lever that you pull or push forward. And then the other part, the bypass is controlled by this. So once it gets to the maximum height, uh, it will then uh, bypass and not tax your um, hydraulic pump. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get that adjusted. You know, and I'm not really sure how this is supposed to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just loosen this uh, nut all the way, back it off. And uh, yeah, you can see I can lift my three-point hitch up and down now. And uh, then I'm going to start the tractor. I'm going to raise it up 
and get it to uh, the, the height that I think I want it to be at a max height. And then I'll adjust uh, or lock down that nut there. demonstrate the problem I'm having I know it's kind of loud with the tractor running but here's the uh, the control lever or control arm that raises and lowers the three-point hitch so I have it in its lowest position now and I know you can't see in the back but the three-point hitch is not down at all and then when I push it back to raise it the hitch does not go up at all um, so let me move the camera and I'll let you look at the hitch while I move that lever. Okay, so I hope you can see that regardless of where I move that lever, nothing's happening on the three-point hitch. Now, I'm going to check the, the, uh, the fluid and everything, and I've changed the filters and everything should be good, but you can see everything here works just fine. The loader, all the other hydraulics work fine, the hydro hydrostatic transmission, everything's working fine, so it, it should have fluid in it. But uh, let me just check and see if I can understand or figure out what's going on. Now I just saw this and I hope it is as simple as this. But can you see right there? There's an acorn lodged in that. Let me see if I can get the camera there for you. Uh, and hold it while I reach in there. Where is it again? There it is. See that acorn in there? Uh, let me see if I can reach in there get it out yeah it's kind of stuck in there <clears throat> there we go so there was an acorn lodged in there i hope that was all it was that was holding that uh, linkage from moving freely but uh well let's take a look and see all right let's see if this linkage moves now Wow, it still, it still isn't moving. It's like it's jammed up in there somehow. Let's see. That should, I would think that should move back and forth by hand. Let me loosen this. This thing is not moving at all. Uh, yeah, that's a, uh, you know, I'm a rookie at this. I'm not a John Deere mechanic, but I would think I should be able to move that linkage back and forth. Let me push it all the way down. Now the the lever is all the way down. Let me see if it'll move now. So maybe it's... <clears throat> no, it is not moving at all. And I would think that that lever would be... Let me just make sure... I just moved the uh, the loader arm a little bit just to see if there was any pressure on it. You would think this thing would swivel. And maybe that's the issue. Maybe that valve is stuck. It's the reason that it is not uh, stopping either way. Yeah, that thing, it should, uh, it should move. 
This whole purpose of this thing here. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just looking at the fluid. It does have plenty of hydraulic fluid. Oh, man. Oh, man. Get my jacket all greasy on this thing. Let me get a rag and wrap around that to, so I don't get grease all over me. This has nothing to do with the fix, but it has everything to do with me not getting greasy. Which is almost too late because I've already got grease all over my jacket. This is the adjustable side of the linkage. And it does have a grease fitting on it. And it is nicely greased. And therefore it's nicely <laughs> on, my, on my clothes here now. Okay, that's good enough. We'll tape it up so it's out of the way and not messing with our video. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go up front and see if I can move that linkage at all. Um, I'm going to let me uh, first tighten this up, this little linkage up. You're seeing it there. And uh, see if by lifting the uh, three point hitch, if I can get that to move by hand. I don't want to force anything. It looks like it's maybe all the way back already, so it looks like it needs to go forward. But let me see. It's, it's not moving at all. It's actually bending this rod here when I try to lift up on it. So let me make sure. And it may be, I don't think it's all the way in the extended position. Let me go the opposite way. I'm going to back this off. Lift this up. Extend this nut back. It's doing the same thing there. It's just bending that rod. So that that uh, that valve is not moving at all. So something's going on there. It's stuck. Something's happening. That uh, linkage is not moving. Let me see if I can show you the linkage I'm talking about. Uh, down in here. Maybe I can get to it, but um, back here on the front part where that linkage connects in the front, there's a on, there's an arm that should pivot back and forth, and it's not moving at all. Uh, so I don't know if it's stuck. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, what I did is I put. This, this is a pull cord from my chainsaw or a replacement cord. But I was able to put that cord around that lever there and pull on it like this. And I was able to get it to move. However, you know, I had to pull like a mother on it to get it to move. So I uh, can't imagine again that should be that difficult to move back and forth. Um, I did find a video online that showed a uh, cutaway, or not a cutaway, but they had taken this uh, top part off and they were moving it back and forth, you know, with one hand, both levers. So it should be free floating in there. Uh, it it uh, controls a, um, a shuttle valve and that valve should just go back and forth with no problem. So I'm not quite sure why it's so hard to go back and forth. Uh, I did take this off and 
you can see I can't pull it back. I mean, I would think, I would think that thing should just freely go back and forth. That's nuts. Don't know. I don't want to have to take, I don't want to take this off. That would be a major pain in the butt. Um, but I'm not sure why that is stuck in there like that. Uh, I don't know how much travel that thing is supposed to have. I don't know if it's supposed to go, you know, an inch or two or if it has a lot of travel. But it sure isn't wanting to move now the way it is. Hey, well, I do see that uh, it actually raised the uh, three-point hitch this time. Let me uh, let me start it up and see if that, uh, now that I've moved that up, if that's actually letting the, the hitch, well, obviously it's letting it come up. Let's see what's happening. I can move it now. It's still pretty, pretty tough to move. I wouldn't think it would be supposed to be this hard to move back and forth. But at least it, it is moving now. Okay. All right, well, it's moving. I'm able to pull it back and forth. So now let me see if I can adjust it. It's all the way down now. Let me take it back up. I'm gonna take it all the way up to nine. Now you can hear it. You can hear the pump. And I'm moving it back down, 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 down. Okay, I had to get almost all the way back down to one before the pump disengaged so yeah that's definitely means that uh, we need to put that rod back on and adjust it i'm gonna let it all the way down right now all right I want to see if I can get this linkage hooked back up properly. First thing I want to do is get this string out of here, this cord out of here that I stuck in there to try to get it loose. Served its purpose, but now it needs to be out of the way. Okay, that's out of the way. And the, the hitch is all the way down now. So this, here's the, uh, there's a pin on this rock shaft here where this uh, bracket goes into. Let me see if I can get you in there where you can see that. Okay, so right here on the back is a pin. And this piece here goes up on that pin. Okay, if I can get it on there with one hand. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay, so that goes on the pin. And then it has a washer that goes on. And then uh, it initially had a roll pin or spring pin. I don't know which one you call it that was in there, but I replaced it with this little clip when I worked on the rock shaft, and I'm kind of glad I did because I was able to get this out. Okay, so this is uh, this is all the way down. So let's see. Not sure which one of these controls the down. So when it lifts up, it's gonna pull this back. Okay, so let me adjust this one. Yeah, so when this when this pivots up, it's gonna pull this this pin's gonna pivot like this. And it should pull this rod back. And then we'll adjust the bottom here since this is all the way down. I 
I'm assuming that should be pushed all the way in when it's down. So I'll leave that there. Now let me raise it up and get it to the point where it needs to stop and then I'll lock this one in. So it's, it's almost there. Um, I don't know if you could hear when I got up to the top that the uh, hydraulic pump did kick in. So let's see. Push it all the back. Yeah, hit a pump. Okay, so it still needs to be adjusted a little bit. So I'm going to let it go back down. Right. And let's move this. Let's see, would it need to go in or out? Let's move it out a little bit. And try it again. Okay, so that's all the way up, and it's not uh, not taxing the pump now. So maybe that's got it. Let's see if it goes down. All right. I think we might have uh, got it. I don't know if that valve was just stuck. Uh, what the deal was with it. Uh, but it seems to be working just fine now. Let me move you out to the side. It's all the way down. I'll pull it back. Push it all the way back. Okay, that's all the way back. The pump is not struggling, so it stopped, and I believe that is, that's all the way to the top. So that looks pretty good there, I think. Let it down again. So what I'm checking for is to see if it's actually stopping at the, uh, the marks. It does seem to be. So if I take it all the way up to nine, that's up. Now if I take it down to say five, it should stop. Okay, it did. Now if I drop it to one it should go down further yep all right that looks like it's doing what it should do bring it up to seven yep up to nine yep okay i believe we have it working now
all right guys well i think that got it uh again i don't know why that valve was stuck and by no means am i a john deere mechanic i'm just your average joe homeowner who has a small tractor and i don't know why it started doing that and, and why it got stuck but uh it was definitely stuck uh where that that control arm or that linkage was not telling the tractor or sending back where it was so it's it's working now let me start it up again and show you we're in that all the way down position in the one position take it all the way up to nine it stops it does not stress the pump so it's uh, doing what it should do again if I take it down to like six it should drop down and then stop it does now if I take it all the way down to one it should go all the rest of the way down and it does so uh, yeah it's all working back up to nine so that's what it was that linkage was uh, was stuck for some reason like I said it was actually kind of bending the, the linkage a bit so I don't know if that shuttle valve just somehow got stuck but that's fixed it and uh, so there you go Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along and struggling through this with me. I hope you were able to learn something. If you've got a tractor like this, hopefully it was helpful. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel a lot. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button so that uh, we get the subscriber count up. I'd love to get a lot of subscribers. Uh, we're always doing things here at the farm. And remember to ring that notification bell so that anytime I post a new video, you'll get notified. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time on Thistle Hill Farmstead.